Kiddo, what are you doing here? Did Uncle Chess pick you up early? I came back by myself. What? Across all them roads? Are you all right? Hang on a minute. Have you run away from school? I was feeling sad. Say, you're proud of yourself now. Are you going to live with your new girlfriend? What? Where have you heard that from? Mummy. Do you love your new girlfriend more than me? No. No, how could you even think that? You do. You're lying. No, listen to me, sweetheart. No, I hear you! Talk to him together tonight, you said. Ty, I didn't say You I have done do this out of spite. What? You I... knew it would be ten times harder for those girls, but you did it just to pay me back. <laughs> and you say you're the mature one. Come on, love, tell me the truth. Who told you Daddy had a new girlfriend? You did. I heard you shouting at him yesterday. Ah, oh, mummy and a big mouth. Listen, OK, I know things are really confusing and upsetting at the minute, but... Daddy loves you and Ruby more than anything else in the whole wide world. Not more of his girlfriend. No, that's not true. It's, it's a different kind of love, that. If you can call it that, it's only another five minutes, isn't it? Then why didn't you want to live with me anymore? Did I do something bad? No, sweetheart, of course you didn't. Hey, do you mind if I stick 12 more baby girls on for a boil wash? Shall I come back late? No, it's fine. Hope's just a bit upset because she heard me talking about you know what last night, so. She walked home from school all by herself. Are you kidding? Yeah, I know, don't! I'm having kittens just thinking about what could have happened. Anyway, I am going to phone Daddy and get him to come back. Yeah, I am. And we're going to explain things properly. No, I don't want to see him. Love, you don't mean that. I do. I'll tell you what, Joseph's got the day off because he had a bit of a funny tummy this morning, but he's fine now. So why don't Mummy make a phone call and then you can come round to ours and play, yeah? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, eh? Would you like that? Go on then, you go. Be good up for your Uncle Ches. I'll come round and pick you up later, yeah? Okay. Take all the time you need. Thanks, Ches. Hey, Ron, will you please answer me messages? Hope's in pieces here. You really need to come and tell her that none of this is her fault. No, I've found my phone now. I'll call you as soon as I get there. Ches? It's OK, Joseph. Everything's OK, mate. What's happened? Is everything all right? No, it's not all right. It's far from all right. Why? Where are you going? To the hospital. The hospital? Look, I can't talk right now, Fizz. I'm sorry. There's no point in staying in there. Hiding's not going to help you. What's happened? I'll tell you what's happened. Joseph's arm's in a sling because this one went berserk and attacked him. That's what's happened. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. Four times. <laughs> Night at the hotel looks dead lovely. And what's that supposed to mean now? It means you're so flaming thick or insensitive or both, probably. You uploaded your pics to our shared family photo roll. I am so sorry. Oh, no. Don't apologise. Made up to know that one of us is having the time of their lives. Cocktails and bubble baths, eh? Wouldn't get used to it if I were you. Come on, let's go. I've been trying to get hold of you for ages. Yeah, well, I know. I've only just seen my phone. Hope lamped Joseph one. Chesney's at the hospital with him now. She might have broken his arm. What? What has she done that for? Oh, my gosh. Because he told her that you mustn't love her anymore. Oh, that's ridiculous. Is it? Well, will you please come and tell her that, then? Oh! Oh, no, not to worry if you've got another romantic date planned. No. Well, I was just thinking we have got that meal. But I was also thinking... I think your brain's done more than enough thinking for one day. You know what Hope's like when she's like this? You're better off talking to her. How can you say that? We're... Well, we're always a team. But she's not yours, though, is she? So why would you be interested in her anymore? I never said that. Look, I'm sorry, you saw how Hope pushed me away early. I'm just trying to do what's best for her. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely you are. She just wanted a daddy. 